Yeah, Stroh's, we hope, are going to be red hot. Fans looking to put a ring on it right there. I'm just showing off my little, oh, replica ring oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, like a bling, sure bling. Yeah. You got all the things. Wow. <laughs> Meantime, fans have been talking about the birthday boy who caught Jordan's walk-off oh, home run ball. This was in incredible. Game one. Incredible. This morning, he got to meet Air Jordan himself, and our Daniel Gotera was there. Today is game two, but everyone's still buzzing about game one, more specifically the home run that gave the Astros the series lead. Today, the guy who caught that ball got a chance of a lifetime to meet the man who hit it, and now who happens to be his favorite player. That's some wild stuff right there. I never thought he'd just walk up. Dylan Harrell was nervous this morning, maybe more so than that bottom of the ninth two days ago. Crazy, man, that's crazy experience. I wish I could, wish I could relive it, because I don't really remember much of it, but... It all happened so fast. He was about to meet Jordan Alvarez, a meeting set up by the Correa Family Foundation. The now famous home run ball in hand was about to be signed. Alvarez told me that I could keep the ball. Uh, he said that you know he he'd like to sign it, but he doesn't. Yeah, you know, he doesn't want to take it from me. So I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I was kind of actually kind of relieved. Hey, hey, good Bobby. The Astro Slugger was gracious, taking pictures with Dylan and the family, signing everything. This encounter, hard to put into words. That's a memory of a lifetime. That's, that's crazy. But one that will never be forgotten. You know, I got, I got Bagwell's signature on a couple of things, and, you know, I, I, hate, to, I hate to say it, but this tops it, Bagwell. I'm sorry, but this is, this, is a, this is a special memory and special piece of Astro's history that I'm going to keep forever. At Minute Maid Park, Daniel Gotera, KHOU, 11 News.